Hey, today I want to show you how to bring your SketchUp models into the Oculus Quest using basically the Unreal Engine and getting realistic virtual reality on the Quest with Quest Link. So let's check it out. So go to oculus.com, Rift S, and then Setup. Click that and you'll see download link for Oculus Rift S. Install that software. And then you want to go to add your headset. And in order to use the Quest with the home app in the um, Oculus, you need to get this cable. This is the cable I got. Works with the Quest. It's a 3.0 cable. Plug that in, and your headset is going to start to run through the setup process. And then when it's connected, it'll say active. All right, so let's go into SketchUp and I'm gonna build a museum model and something we can walk through in twin motion and also bring into Lumion to see how that compares. So if you wanna skip the process of me building the SketchUp model, you can go to the five minute mark. That's when I bring this model into Lumion and look at the materials inside there to compare to twin motion VR. All right, so let's bring this thing into Lumion and start to look at some of the materials and lighting effects in Lumion and see how that compares to the twin motion graphics. So I'm gonna scroll over to my model here and raise it up out of this ground plane.
You can already see it brings in the water. So the material that I added for the water comes in as water. I can you know, adjust the grass, adjust the water, adjust the lighting, and render out a quick image of what that looks like. Pretty fast. Adding trees, you know, Lumion has a big library of trees that you can put in, which is nice. And they all move with the wind in video. But what it doesn't have, it doesn't have the um, VR component, the virtual reality component of the game that Unreal Engine adds to the environment. So I'm gonna I'm gonna tweak all these materials just to get a feel of um, how this relates to Unreal Engine. So I'm calling this my little final rendering here. And let's now bring this into Twin Motion. So I'm, I'm still learning Twin Motion and I'm kind of new to it. So um, I may be doing things a little bit different than most people. But bring in your SketchUp file. I think they have a plugin where you can export that SketchUp file directly to um, this program. Looks a little bright to me, so I'm going to adjust some of the lighting down. Now in this, you can see the blue seat that I added in SketchUp comes into uh, this model, whereas Lumion doesn't keep the SketchUp adjusted adjustments you make to materials. Um, but they do come in here, so this building is, has the black brick as opposed to the adjustments we made in SketchUp to um, in Lumion, it still came in as the image being white. So you can see right off the bat the quality is really good. And this is just no no additional things applied to the materials, just straight in shadows and lighting. So the quality of the image looks really nice to me. If I put a little bit more care into these materials too, adding uh, bump maps and, and all that stuff, it could really enhance the realistic look of all this too. You can adjust the weather, make it rain, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to put in some vegetation here. Now these trees on the left, you can drag them in individually or you can drag them into that lower bar. And if you drag them into the lower bar, you can use the paintbrush to put them around your model. If you just drag them in from the left, you can, uh, you can drop them in individually. And notice that they change scale. Each tree you put in makes, makes itself a little different than the last one. So if you are trying to um, put in similar size uh, you know, objects, you need to scale them down or put one in then copy it over, something like that. So. But having things at different sizes actually makes it feel more realistic than having everything exactly the same. You can see here the water hasn't actually been recognized as water. There's an ocean effect, so if you could turn that on if you wanted. Use that picker tool and you can actually go through and replace materials. They got about eight different water effects, so I'm going to drag these onto the material drag and drop them onto whatever material it is. So I'm going to add a little reflection to some of this stuff. But not make it over the top, just kind of enough to give you give it some life. This floor though, I do want to have a high reflective value to it too. I could set some bum maps, things like that, to this 
but I'm keeping it simple for now. There's a lot of different things you can add. Sometimes these darker materials, if you boost the luminosity, helps a good bit bring out some of the uh, information in that material. Sorry, I'm just going to keep moving around this model and um, adjusting materials and adding trees and landscape. I'm going to speed this up now. All right, so now that I got the model built, we'll save that. Go to BIM Motion here and uh, play, turn that on. Keep free ride on. That allows you to walk on top of uh, the ground planes, things like that. Go back to export and start export. And this will well, this will create basically the game that you can walk through. It's a pretty big file, it's like six gigs. You probably want to run that off your hard drive, not some external hard drive. I think it runs a little faster. I tried running one off the network and it didn't run as well as being on the actual computer. So to get your link, Oculus Quest link up and going, what I do is I open Oculus, I connect the headset and I make sure to enable Oculus Link. And then when you're in there, you can actually go to a virtual desktop because you can see your screen. And I click on this file to open it, the BIM Motion EXE file. It'll open it and then I kind of lift my head out of the headset, click the Y down there, and that little cogwheel and turn the virtual reality on and that basically puts you into the model. So now you can see how realistic the lighting effects are in this model. Um, the people move, the trees move with the wind. And all this was done relatively quickly. The graphics are probably not as good as Lumion, but to be able to walk around in real time and see the shading and the reflectivity of objects, things like that, in the virtual world is pretty amazing to be able to 
do this this quickly and um, have it run this well. I've, I've, I've got a pretty fast computer, so this runs really well off the computer, and the Oculus Link looks really clear and um, is able to keep up with the frame rate pretty well. So I need to go through and put some images on this gallery wall and be able to walk around and enjoy it more. Thanks for watching. If you are new to SketchUp and you want to learn how to model in SketchUp, I have a free course that takes you through all the basics. It's SketchUpForArchitectsCourse.com. If you go there, you'll be able to register for the course and um, learn all the basics of SketchUp, which will allow you to take your models into twin motion and be able to walk around in VR like this and communicate effectively to your clients and understand your design in a whole new way.